Hello, Miss Roll here with your notes on power. Our learning target for this video is I can describe, explain, and calculate power. So last time we had a video, uh, we talked about what work is. And one of the biggest things we had to do with work is to kind of separate our understanding of what it is in the real world you know, in our everyday world, how we talk about it, and then in our science world, and what we mean when in science we say we're doing work. The same thing happens when we say power, right? You might talk about, oh, the president has a lot of power, or something like that, or the king or queen had a lot of power. But when we say power in science, it means something really specific. So in this case, Power is just how fast work is done. How fast work is done. So the faster something gets done, the more power it's going to have. We're going to see that in our next slide here. Power, again, like work, can be calculated. Power is work divided by time. So you take the amount of work done and you divide it by how long it takes to do. Work divided by time. Again, because scientists are lazy, we like to abbreviate. So we also write it out as P for power equals W divided by T, capital W, lowercase t, for work divided by time. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. Our units. You'll notice our unit for power is watts, a capital W. We also abbreviate work as a capital W. So you have to make sure you're paying attention. Is it a letter that comes after a number? So it's a unit? or is it just an abbreviation for the equation? But power is measured in watts. It's the same kind of watts that you might notice on a light bulb. You go check a light bulb and you'll see that usually they're like 60 watts. They measure how much power they put out in watts. Our work is still measured in joules, J, and then our time is seconds, S. Watts, joules, and seconds. So like I said, the more work that is done, the more power is required to do it, which makes sense, right? We increase the work, increase the power. But because we're dividing here, if it takes less time to do something, that means it takes more power. Okay, if you do something quicker, it requires more power. Kind of makes sense when you think about it. So again, more work is more power and less time is more power. All right, let's do a couple of examples. So example one, you are biking up a hill using a thousand joules and it takes you 550 seconds. How much power will you need? Well, we can start out by remembering power is work divided by time. Work divided by time. So in this case, our work is a thousand joules. So we have 1000 divided by our time, which is 550 seconds. 1,000 divided by 550. You can grab your calculator or do it in your head, whatever works for you. 1.81, I'm gonna round it. 1.81 watts. Remember, watts is our unit 
for power. So when it comes after a number like this, it's our unit. Now we're gonna go on to a second example. Still biking. This time we're biking up a hill using 650 joules. So notice that's smaller, but we're still doing it in 550 seconds. So now we've done less work in the same amount of time. So what's gonna happen to the power it takes? So again, power is work divided by time. And this time our work is 650 joules. We're gonna divide that by 550 seconds. And we'll find out what that gives us. So 650 joules divided by 515 seconds, 550, excuse me, did I, yeah, I did that right, gives us 1.18 watts. Again, watts is our unit for power. All right, so third example is more thinking now. Which one required more power? Example one or example two? Now, if you look, we got 1.81 in our first example, which was more than 1.18. So that means that our first example took more power. Now think about why. Our amount of time didn't change, but the amount of work that was done did change. When we had more work, that gave us more power, right? More work, more power. All right, let's do our last set of examples. You consumed 3,500 joules of food in 86,400 seconds, which if you do the math happens to be one day. How much power did you use? All right, so our power is work divided by time. Our work was 3,500 joules divided by 86,400 seconds. So how much power did that leave us? Well, let's put it in the calculator here. 3,500 divided by 86,400 gives us, ooh, lots of things to round here. So 0 0.04, right? If you notice, I had a zero after the four, so I'm just gonna round it and keep it at, a z at four. 0 0.04 watts, okay? So eating 3,500 joules of food in one day, 86,400 seconds takes us 0 0.04 watts of power. All right, our next example here. Again, you're consuming that 3,500 joules of food, but this time in 43,200 seconds. And if you do the math, that's half a day or 12 hours. So how much power did you use? Well, again, we have our power equation, work, divided by time, 3,500 joules of work, divided by 43,200 seconds of time. And that's going to give us our power, how much power we used. So 3,500 divided by 43,200 seconds is 0 0.08 watts of power. So now consuming that in half a day gave us 0 0.08 watts of power. So now we gotta think, which one required more power? 
example four or example five? Well, if you look, we have 0 0.08, which is bigger than 0 0.04. So now why? Well, if you think about it, if we're doing the same amount of work, but if you do it faster, meaning less time, that obviously is going to take more power. Right? Think about it if, let's say you were raking a yard. If you do it faster, right, you get more tired, you're putting out more power. Okay, less time is more power. I hope this video was helpful in getting you to understand power, what it is, how to explain it, and how to calculate it. Um, remember, if any of this is confusing, please make sure that you ask your teacher a question so that they can help. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.